I had big speakers in my back, but I was banging Mariah Carey. And I, I uh, on my first date, I had an itinerary on a 3 by 5 index card in my back pocket. That's, so a, talking that's about. a good man. There's me, because again, this is negative culture stuff. Because you open the door, because you treat a woman um, of value. Or for me, he is such a gentleman. But then the guys are like, oh, that dude is him. And so a lot of y'all don't really realize that y'all guys be keeping each other from happiness. You know what I'm saying? Because you treat your wife like that. Oh, you was simp guy to me is a guy who, you know what I'm saying, uh, blows with the wind in a sense, right? Where he's everywhere. You know, he, he says this one minute, then he says that one minute. He says this one minute, but then he does that. You know, uh, a simp dude to me is a dude that does not hold down his post, right? Steve was not a simp. You know, Stefan was a simp because everything that Steve said, he stood by everything. And yes, I know Jalil was referring to himself, calling himself a simp, but I think that Steve and Stefan are good examples to use in this situation. Beautiful girls. Mm -hmm. And one of them is my girl. My girl. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. had enough Lewis <laughs> Lewis had when is Steve gonna learn when will he learn this serenade and Lord he don't have the voice for it when is he gonna learn okay again still showing you that because I don't think this is the only time the man sings to her I think he sings to her a couple more times what is this put it out go down go down go down uh-huh come back up bow right at you Johnny Gill personally. Would you like that? Mm. I'd love it, but oh, no buts. No buts. Suppose I made it happen. Would you reward me with a kiss? Sure. I'd lay one on you that would weld your glasses to your face. Ooh. First of all, Laura said, has never said something so true as we know. Later, later on, she absolutely does this, okay? She holds true. She got Steve slipping off the couch and everything because of the luscious. We know it's true. They, they keep their word to each other. It'll never happen. You have a better chance of being hit by lightning. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Jenna Gill, baby, in the purple. Do you know who you are? Exactly. I think so. I'm Johnny Gill. <laughs> <laughs> So what are we seeing here? Okay. Steve kept his word. He has delivered Johnny Gill to Laura's front door. So this is what I'm talking about. This dude cannot be a simp when he gets stuff done. He said he does what he says he's going to do. Come on. Johnny Gill. Uh-huh. In my house. In your house. In your house. <laughs> Jekyll. <laughs> That's Urkel. Steve Urkel. Listen, um, my manager gave me your message. Now, let me get this straight. You actually have a Mickey Mantle rookie card in mint condition? Hi, Mike. What's going on? Business sweetheart. Man talk. <laughs> <laughs> you see what he said? Business sweetheart. Man talk. He's handling his thing. And you see Lord like, okay, do your thing, boy. Do your thing. Do your thing. <laughs> Mr. Gill. I got you. <laughs> I might be willing to part with this extremely rare baseball card if you sing a few songs for my honey. Look how he got Laura. Look how he got Laura. I arranged for you to meet to Johnny Gill. And not only that, I got to serenade you. Hmm. I think you owe me a kiss. Steve said I came through. What you gonna do? Because I came through. Huh, Steve? I came through. I kept my word. I brought this uh, jo Johnny Gill, not only to your front door, but in your living room, serenading you. Okay. Now he's like, I'm ready. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> I know. <laughs> now I know. A deal is a deal. Hmm. I couldn't have put it better myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
One moment, please. Give him a minute. This is a moment. <laughs> now, you got to remember, here's two things we got to look at, though. Now, you see, Laura is keeping her end of the bargain, too. She's keeping her word, right? Again, just something else that Steve and Laura have in common. But let's remember, Steve, what Laura said, right? I'll, I'll put a kiss on you, boy. I'll melt the glasses off your face. So that's what Steve doing right now. He getting ready for all of that. All of that. You know what I'm saying? All of that. Girl, I'm ready. <laughs> melt my glasses to my face, baby girl. Let me get my mouth, my lips ready, because I ain't about to miss out on nothing. <laughs> I ain't about to miss out on nothing. Look at Laura. She goes in to do it. Wow, it's no good. But then Steve. <laughs> Steve, when will you realize that I will never feel the way about you that you feel about me? Hmm. Oh, yes, you will. Hmm. She's smiling at me. Yes, she is. Bubble, 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 bubble. <laughs> <laughs> but again... I just want to point out, what did Laura said to his face? Steve, it's not ever going to happen. I'm never going to feel for you the way you feel for me. And what does he say? He's holding his ground. He's, he's, he's keeping his post and saying, yes, you will. You see what I'm saying? Steve is not going with the wind or going with the, with the emotion or going with even what's in front of him. Steve is standing on his post based on what he believes. And those are those men cannot be simps. Because they can't be moved. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, Steve, but you've got a long wait. Well, I wouldn't wait too long, baby Gans. Mm -hmm. After all, I'm a super dude. I'm a super dude. That's Doug, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Wet. <laughs> wet, wet, wet. This does for you. Bow. 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 And also, look at, look at this, too. Look at how quickly... Steve, a simp couldn't do this. Look at how quickly he diffused this situation. Laura was irate at him. And now he's walking out and she got a big old smile on her face. Okay, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Check this out. Steve? Oh, Mr. Einstein, you flatter me. <laughs> Einstein. Steve? That boy be too, doing too much in his sleep. What, what is he doing? His mouth is just moving. Steve! Ah! Ah! Ooh. <laughs> oh, 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 boy. That'll wake you up. For sure. <laughs> Look at this. You almost killed yourself. I want you to come down from this roof. Will you go out with me? No. Then here I stay. <laughs> Look, you're wasting your time. I will never go out with you. Oh, yes, you will. No, I won't. And so here we go again. Now Steve is on the rooftop, right? You know, he's on the rooftop and basically saying, I'm not getting off this roof until you agree to go out with me, right? And again, we're looking at it and we're seeing now, I mean, literally him holding down his post. Now I might be on her roof, but nonetheless, he's holding down his post because you go all out for the one you love. But it's, it's interesting that it's okay when it's your mom. It's okay when it's your sister. It's okay when it's a neighbor. But but when it's the when it's the woman that God intends, you know what I'm saying? The Bible says, you don't have to get preachy, but the Bible does say, he that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing and obtains favor. Come on now. Steve, this is crazy. Why? I don't care. Mm. Men swim oceans, climb mountains, and trudge across deserts for their women. Right there. The least I can do is sit on top of a middle class track house. That part, that part right there. My man. Mm. My manly man. Mm. My manly Urkel. Manly Urkel man. Fine, Steve. It'll be just you and the pigeons. Pigeons? Who do they find? <laughs> He went from, I'm a, man, I'm a man to you, Lord, but these pigeons I got an issue with. You know, but I, again, you're just seeing the stance that Steve's taking. Like, man, men have done far more than this. This ain't nothing. And what Steve is doing is showing Laura her value. You know what I'm saying? It's okay, man, to show, show the one. I'm not saying any woman, but a woman that God has laid on your heart, that God has drawn to you, that God has brought into your life, that God is like, nah, bro, that's you right there. It's okay to value her. <laughs> Mm 
wake me, shake me, and break me, but baby, don't forsake me. We already see the difference here. Look, but I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Laura, I understand, because I'm like, man, Jaleel was a low handsome dude. My gosh. And we're seeing that he's smooth. But what did he just say to her? Like, like, what did he just really, like, seriously, like, in meaning, what did he just say? Not, not in what it means, but in meaning, in depth. What did he just say to her? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, nothing. Phew. <laughs> Girl, you are one sick puppy. <laughs> Woof. Mm -hmm. I can understand, though. I'm not going to front. When you look that good, good goodness gracious, Jaleel. Good goodness gracious, Jaleel. No dip. <laughs> Cheetah, me <Mika. laughs> Sprite. All right. <laughs> there you go, babe. Like that? Ooh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, again, I'm wondering. I'm just wondering. Was Jalil supposed to do this? Or is this some of the stuff he, be, he does to, like, bug Kelly? I just wonder. Was that, Is this a part of the script? Or are they kind of getting all script here? It's hilarious, though. Nonetheless. Summer Jungle. Summer Jungle. Yeah. Now she got to wipe his belt. Now she got to wipe his belt. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh, love me, <laughs> love me, tender. Wow, bring it home to daddy. He said, "Rock my world." I wonder, is this part again? I'm just asking, is this part of the scene? Or is Jalil trying to throw Kelly off? Because you know the greats do that. The Martin Lawrences, the Will Smiths, the Jamie Foxx. You know what I'm saying? They throw curveballs at you sometimes to see if you stay on your toes. You know? Oh. <laughs> it doesn't throw off Stevie? though. Stevie? Yes, eh? Could you give me some tickets to see New Edition 2? Hello? Ah, bonjour, ma chérie. Step on. Step on. <laughs> How you doing, baby? Okay, I, I just, I'm sorry. I just, I did not realize how fine Jalil was. Because see, I was on, I was, I was, I like my gangster boogie dudes. So I wasn't checking for Stefans and stuff like that. But I'm just looking back on mutual. I can't wait for Friday to come. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick you up from the airport and I'll be wearing a dress that's so hot, it comes with a fire extinguisher. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Laura, you are breaking my heart. I really wish I could see you in that dress. Mm. What you talking about, Stefan? <laughs> right. I'm going to have to cancel my trip home. Again? Stefan, I got us tickets to the new edition concert. Ouch. That makes awful even worse. But Laura, Giorgio Armani is featuring me in his spring line. <laughs> now, baby, nobody says no to Giorgio. I will. Give me his number. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her little pouty face. It's cute. Look at her little pouty face. I will give me your number. <laughs> really, Laura, you know I'm sorry. Stefan, that's what you said the last time and the time before that. Look, so what are the, we only need these two things here. What did Lord just say? That's what you said the last time and the time before that. He's not keeping his word. This is what I mean the difference to me and what I see uh, a, a SIMP would be. It, it, it's not the guy that goes out of his way and keeps his word and follows through. It's these type of guys that, that, that go with the wind and go whatever opportunity looks better. And that's what Stefan's doing here. Come on, baby. Talk to me. Tell me what's on your mind. She just told you if you're listening. Well, Stefan, your life is going great, and I'm really happy for you. But I have a life, too, and with you gone, it's been on hold. So what are you trying to say? Well, I'm not sure. I mean, I just have a lot of thinking to do about us. Mm. But, Laura, you know. You see that? I gotta go. You see that? Yep. Hi, Stefan. Laura's actually doing the right thing. You don't keep your word, you go with the wind, you get cut off. Bye-bye. What -bye. want a man to have? Hmm. Does he do what he says he's going to do. Right there. If he says he's going to call you and he don't ever call you when he say he's going to call you, why are we still, why are we talking to him? If he says he's coming at a certain time and he repeatedly doesn't show up, why are we still talking to him? What are you talking to a guy who does not do what he says he's going to do except occasionally? Yeah. Because suppose it is the one occasion where you really need him mm. and it's just one of them occasions where he just ain't coming. Right. 
Do you understand how important that is? Whatever's in vogue, whatever's popular, whatever's gaining steam, yeah, whatever, whatever is in vogue, it means that that's what's influencing their decisions. That's what's influencing their financial decisions. That's what's influencing their professional decisions. That's what's influencing their emotional decisions. That's what's influencing their relational decisions. Make sure that I say this. Uh, that you talking, uh, uh, yes, I'm talking from a woman's point. I'm giving you a woman's point of view on this just so people, you, don't, you don't know because you're not a guy. No, but I do know it's a lot of y'all guys be messing up relationships for each other. I, I, a female's perspective of these things. I want everything out of the open. So here's fair warning. Fair warning. I intend to remain friends with Laura. Right. And if she gives me the slightest inkling that I can win her heart, I'm gone, baby. I'm gone, baby. <laughs> I'm gone, baby. And so this is why I wanted us to look at this because, again, uh, a SIMP would not be doing this. He has two beautiful, incredible, articulate, intelligent women that he's standing in the middle of. And he's telling both of them. Basically, he's telling Myra... Myra, I'm, I'll kick it with you while I wait for her, <laughs> in, a, in a nutshell, right? And that's the thing that we have to, to look at. What I'm talking about and been talking about is a stance. Look at, look at Steve's even body language here, his stance. He's holding his pulse. He's saying what he means. He's meaning what he's saying. And we know that this comes to fruition later when anytime he gets a little smoochy smoochy from Lord, he going to take it. And, that, and, and, and he already told Myra what it was to her face. And as you know, the whole story, she agrees to it. You know, your car or your, uh, I don't know what it is, your video game or your TV, you know, your, your shoes you bought or a necklace maybe you bought or something like that. You know, you should be able to value this woman that hopefully God placed into your life. You know yourself a man of God. Pursue God when it comes to the woman in your life because the woman in your life is supposed to upgrade your life. That's why, again, I will say the Bible says that, you know, that's why he says it. A man that finds a wife, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you obtain favor from the Lord based on the woman he brings into your life. And, and, and also if they want to call you, if culture wants to call you a SIMP, hey man, roll with it, roll with it, rock with it. As long as you got your queen beside you, you got God, you good. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, love God, love people. May God bless you and may God keep you.